Hi guys, in this video, we will check out the best budget cameras that you should buy in 2021. I listed them based on my research by checking quality, features, price, and reviews. If you like any budget camera, you can buy right now by checking the links in the description. We have picked the 5 cheap cameras that will be best for you, so let's get started with the video. The fifth budget camera in our list is the Sony Alpha A6000. It's a high spec camera at a low spec price. Don't let the price fool you. The A6000 costs the same as other entry level DSLR and mirrorless cameras, but it's an advanced and powerful camera that has only dropped to this price through being on the market since 2014. So it may be old, but most of the specifications still look surprisingly fresh today. This includes a 24 MP APS-C sensor, a fast hybrid 179 point autofocus system and continuous shooting at 11 frames per second. Its age shows in other areas, though, it only shoots 1080p full HD video and not 4K, and the screen isn't touch sensitive. Still, the latter is still the case on many new Sony cameras and the A6000S high-end features ensure that it's a camera that will grow with you. The fourth budget camera in our list is the Ape Man A100. Don't let its cheap looks fool you, this budget buy shoots great 4K. Although the Ape Man A100 won't win any prizes for body design or looks, the fact that it's available for under $100 elevates highly in our list. Despite its low price, it produces sharp 4K footage, even managing to turn out some decent footage in low light conditions. There are, of course, some downsides to this model over the likes of the more expensive GoPro Hero 9 Black, the image stabilization isn't as good, while sound quality is on the poor side. But if you just want a cheap and cheerful way to record your latest adventures, the Ape Man A100 is an excellent choice. The third budget camera in our list is the Sony HX90V. A super slim 30x zoom camera, ideal for day trips and travels. If zooming is your key concern, then a camera like the HX90V will certainly get you closer to your subject. With a 30x zoom housed in an impressively slim body, you also get useful features such as a tilting screen and a pop-up viewfinder, the latter being particularly handy when shooting in sunny climbs. The compromise for offering such an extensive zoom is a smaller sensor, with the device being less suited to low-light shooting than some models in our list. But, if it's to be your holiday camera, that's likely to be less of a concern. Although you are afforded manual control, those with high-end aspirations might also have their enthusiasm dampened by the lack of raw shooting, but it's otherwise a cracking little budget camera. The second budget camera in our list is the Fujifilm X-T200. Our favorite mirrorless camera for beginners. We're still fans of the Fujifilm X-T30, but this cheaper, beginner-friendly version of that camera is our favorite mirrorless option for those starting out on their photography or video making journeys. It's a big improvement over its X-T100 predecessor in almost every way, including autofocus, and has a fantastic 3.5 in rear touch screen. Unlike the Fujifilm X-A7, you also get a viewfinder for framing shots. The only downside is that the subject tracking can be a little hit and miss during burst shooting and isn't available for video, but otherwise this is one of the best cheap cameras around for those who want a new mirrorless model. The first budget camera in our list is the Nikon D3500. The best entry-level DSLR out there is great value. The Nikon D3400 was a hugely successful and popular DSLR, and the Nikon D3500 has taken its baton into the mirrorless age. DSLRs may be less common now, but they continue to offer excellent value compared to mirrorless cameras due to their optical viewfinders, and the Nikon D3500 remains the best budget camera for beginners. Key changes over the older D3400 include an improved APS-C sensor and an even better battery life of 1550 frames per charge, next to the D3400's very capable 1200 shots per charge. You also get a better grip and a slightly redesigned body that's a bit lighter, too. While it also worth considering mirrorless alternatives the Sony A6000, the D3500 is that bit more user-friendly, particularly if you want to use it with longer lenses. For more details and the latest price of the cameras, check the links provided in the description. That's all, I hope that this video will help you to make a better decision about choosing the cameras. If this video has helped you, then please like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.